Yeah, um, I would also be clicking on this video. If I saw it in, a, in a my sub box, I'd also be clicking this video to write a nice 200 word essay on why I have problems with my life. Upon seeing a title along the lines of runecrafting or runecraft is my favorite skill. Yeah, anyone that would ever say that to me, I'd sit there and just think to themselves, how do you prefer runecrafting to Slayer? Now, that being said, I am already 99 Slayer on Boaty, so I don't really have to properly train Slayer. Slayer for me right now on Boaty is boss tasks. It's Gorillas, it's Abyssal Sire, it's Cerberus, it's, if I get them, like Bandos, it's Armadil, all that stuff. So Slayer's still really fun for me to get. But recently, I basically, my last video, the, the, the last six seconds of the audio did actually cut out. That's, for the, that's where the abrupt ending happened. Uh, apologies for that. I didn't re-render the video uh, because I already put it out and I thought, you know, I'll explain it in the next video right at the start. I don't understand. So yeah, that one did end a bit abruptly, but it was only six seconds, but I just wrapped the video up quickly. But it did seem kind of lame, so my apologies for that. But yeah, I picked up a task of Dagonifs. And Dagonifs are really, really good money in the game if you have the Fremenic Elite Diary completed, which obviously I don't. On Boaty, I, the only diary I had done, I think was the Karamja Easy when I started actually playing the account again. I haven't even started all the diaries yet. I really need to, because like, if you start all the diaries, this is good advice, when you're randomly playing the game, you might fish a trout like at Barbarian Village and you'll complete like a Varrock Medium or something like that. Like it randomly just completes things around the game. Because when you do diaries, you'll think to yourself, this is really easy, but it's really tedious. Like you have to do so much stupid stuff that's pointless and it just takes ages to do it. If you've started all the diaries, there's a chance you may have actually completed that, which is obviously very helpful. So I just get around to actually completing all of the diaries. And when I get that done, at least I can go around to finishing off like the easies and the hards and all that stuff. But I picked the task of Dagon of Sub and I wanted to go and complete the Fremenic Elite Diary, which put me into a skilling mindset for a long time. Uh, and I've really been enjoying it. I, I don't know why, but I've just been enjoying the skilling recently, working towards the diary. And I know that the Master Clue Scrolls will be releasing soon, so my current priority on Boaty is skilling. I want to work on the diaries. Like, if you build, like, the way I think the best RuneScape accounts, or a foundation RuneScape account is built, is you make a new account, you do the Waterfall Quest, you do Trino Village, you do Grand Tree, blah, everyone does that. Then what do you do? You sat there at like, I don't know, 33 combat, 46 attack, 30 strength, something like that, 26 hit points of Witch's House. And you're like, what do I do next? And what I normally do next is I will go and complete, depending if I'm making a Zerka, most of the time I'm making a Zerka. What I do next is I normally go and complete Recipe for Disaster through Dream Mentor. Uh, when I say through Dream Mentor, you need 175 quest points to complete Recipe for Disaster. I complete Dream Mentor, which requires 85 combat for the final quest points that then allow me to finish Recipe for Disaster. This puts me at about... 13, 1400 total, Dream Mentor completed, and I've got Barrow's Gloves, and I think that's a fantastic foundation to my RuneScape account. Then I normally go and train Slayer to 99 and get 99 strength on the way. That's literally what I do. However, now that I'm playing Boaty, I need to sort of work out how do I want to take Boaty from the stats it's got to better stats. Peckish Whale stats, which are obviously bait. Like, all, my Peckish Whale stats, like, all basically like 80s and 90s. This account, like, my total level, I think when I started playing the account was like 1550. It might have even been, I think it might have been 1430. It was terribly low, terribly like 900 and all that stuff. Now I'm like, I don't know, I think I'm just above 1800 total. I don't want to creep up to getting the 2000 total just so I feel a bit better at life. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be skilling a lot to complete all of the hard diaries in the game and then extend those one by one to the elite diaries until I can get hold of the achievement diary cape. I don't actually have the achievement diary cape on Peckish Whale. I have to go kill 700 more chompies and I just could never be bothered doing it. It takes like two hours to do it or three hours or something. And yeah, so you're probably watching the video and you're like, what the hell's going on? I live stream a lot of what I do. I don't plug my Twitch off and in, uh, on um, on my YouTube. I've actually got a video that's going to upload tomorrow that does plug my Twitch and some other stuff. So I'll explain more there. But yeah, a lot of the time I get a lot of people that are just like putting cannons next to me and all that stuff. It's not really harassment. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can cut logs just as fast with a thousand cannons around me as I can cut logs with zero cannons, you know, so it doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, but people come and do it, it's pretty funny at times, but it's all good. But yeah, that's why sometimes you'll see like a lot of people crowning my spots. I do sometimes obviously get levels off stream. If it's ever empty where I am, I'm probably getting the levels off stream. But yeah, I play RuneScape off stream as well as on stream. Uh, but that'll normally explain the situation of like how things are quite busy when I do some levels. But yeah, so I got the uh, Dagon of Task, and I was like, right, how long is it gonna take me to do the Fremenic Elite Diary? And I sort of looked at all the requirements I needed, worked out some experience per hours, and then worked out how many hours I needed to do 
to basically get it done, which I think was something around 60 or 65 hours or something. I had to do a lot of runecrafting, a lot of runecrafting, and this is where the love for runecrafting came in. Uh, I needed to get 82 runecrafting, and we all know that runecrafting is not one of the fastest skills in the game. It's one of the slower ones. Uh, I lava ruined it all. I, I'll explain more plans, uh, probably near it's close to the end of the video, of what my plans um, of the account are going to be. Uh, but I think it was calculated something like 60 or something hours, so I worked out, right, am I doing anything at all, or can I just play RuneScape 16 hours a day? Like, do I have a life right now? No, I don't. All my friends are at uni, let's friggin' play RuneScape. So I was session RuneScape like 14 hours a day just to get it done. I love getting that addiction stage back, like, it's when I wake up and I'm motivated to log in straight away, and I'm motivated to skill all day, and I like getting that, and I get it with Peckish Whale when I started the series, I got it with Peckish Whale when I started turning it into a max main after I finished one man army, and now I've got it with Boaty on the way to a max cape and the achievement diaries. Now, maybe I'll hit a burnout stage on the way, but when I did a uh, Boaty pre-EOC and got 99 everything, 60 attack, 40 defense, I didn't hit the burnout stage until after I got the 99s, and that's where more of my goals come in, which I'll explain in the video tomorrow. But I've just been loving skilling, and a very tragic scene here. Uh, these are called Hell, um, hell Behemoths, I can't even freaking pronounce them. Uh, basically, I, my cat died. <laughs> I spent all day waiting for my cat to grow so I could go and get the boost to finish off the Feminic Elite. And my cat ended up dying. It was a very sad day. Now this is a brand new cat, so this footage is about two and a half hours apart. Which I think in the meantime, if you look at the top right of the screen, you can see the crafting experience there. I went and got 80 crafting, uh, which I just showed you there, off some air battle stats. I don't think I've recorded any of that footage. I miss footage here and there. A lot of the times I skill, depending on what I'm doing, I time myself skilling for an hour. And then I check the experience I get in that hour. Then I time another hour and I try and beat it. And I keep doing that. And even if I miss by like a thousand, I'm training at about the fastest rates I could possibly do it. So that's why sometimes I record the hour, I level up in the hour and I delete the clip and I always lose levels that way. That's why my runecrafting level, I think I caught level 75 and 77. As soon as I hit 75, I know I timed all the hours because I just got the large pouch, the giant pouch, whatever that one is. So I did time a lot and deleted most of the levels there. But I got all the core levels and all the important levels, which was good. But I think it was after six days or something, I managed to finish off the Feminic Elite Diary. And the Feminic Elite Diary basically allows me to kill Dagon of Kings, and I will get noted Dagon of Bones from killing them, which are worth approximately 9.5, 10k each right now. So every kill I get, which is something along the lines of 90 kills an hour, I get myself a 10k bone drop that's guaranteed on top of any Berserker Rings or Archer Rings that I actually managed to get in the Slayer task. Fortunately, the task was quite dry. I think the only drop I got was a Mud Battle Staff, and a Mud Battle Staff isn't really worth much, but that's fine. Opens up more chance in the next task, I think. And obviously, I can't go everywhere and just get loads of drops. It's all good. Uh, but if I didn't complete the Feminine Elite Diary, this task would have been worth about, I don't know, 400k. Something along those lines. So the profit would have been a lot less. So it was very nice to knock out that task. Um, sorry, the Feminine Elite Diary, the time I did it, because obviously now anytime I get Dagonifs in the future, I can make big money off them just from the bones alone, which makes it worth killing them all. But after that, I picked up an Abyssal Sire task. I love doing the Sire. I have a very decent drop rate at the Sire. And all of the Unsires I get actually turn into pretty decent items. And as you've seen, I think I missed the last one. I didn't record that Unsire I got just before. But with that one, I got the Bludgeon Claw. And then with the next one side, I actually managed to get the Bludgeon Axon, if that's how it's pronounced. And I finished off the entire of the Abyssal Bludgeon. Which is a very expensive item. This is a 40 million item, which is extremely nice to get. You need three individual drops. I, do, I rolled the dice once for this, and I didn't roll the stake. So luckily, I didn't have to stake this 40 mil. I would have cried if I lost that. Uh, I'm actually on a six loss streak staking right now, so it isn't going well. At least, obviously, the only time I stake is if I roll the dice. So I can't go and chuck my whole bank and lose it all on this loss streak that I'm currently on. Uh, but I'm, I finished off the Abyssal Sire task, just a small break, because Boss Slayer is, like I said at the start of the video, it's where a lot of my money is actually coming in, and it's really, really fun to do. My Slayer points are slowly diminishing. It's quite difficult, because obviously I'm 99 Slayer. I don't really have to train past it, so it's been a bit of a struggle, uh, but it's been all good. Apart from that one, uh, as I said, I've been in a skilling mindset, and with that mindset of skilling, runecrafting has been the big one that I've been no-lifing. I've been doing a lot of runecrafting. Uh, I finished off, as you'll see in a moment, I finished off 82 runecrafting because whenever I stream, I end my stream and I go and runecraft for like three or four hours before I go to sleep. I wake up and I runecraft for two, three, four hours before I even go live on Twitch, which allows me to get a lot of runecrafting done, which is really, really good for me. 
Uh, but I actually managed to hit 82 runecrafting, which is double astrals. My plan for the account right now is I'm going to be runecrafting double astral runes, which are about 1.3, 1.4 million an hour. With that profit, I'm going to invest everything into gold ore. I'm going to get myself 85 smithing, get myself a smoldering pickaxe, and then I'm going to start training mining to 80. After that, we're going to start working on some more diaries, getting those done in preparation for the Master Clue Scrolls that I think release next month. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later, and I will see you in a video tomorrow.